the comments here guys. Um, I just finished completing a kitchen faucet install and a uh, garbage disposal install. Um, now if you want to see those videos, if you kind of got here and you're like, wait a second, I probably should step back. Because the drains, if you're doing a new kitchen sink, the drains are going to be the last part of this. You're going to put in the faucet and the garbage disposal and then wrap the drains and that's just the best order to do it in. Um, so you're not like on top of yourself and fighting things, okay? So you'll see, actually they'll pop up over here. Uh, links to those videos if you want to go back. Plus, I'll have them in the description down below. Anyways, some things I made with this uh, installation is a basket strainer. Now, you can get very fancy basket strainers. Um, a lot of people like to match the metal that their faucet is finished in, whether it's a, um, a satin nickel, rubber bronze, antique copper. Uh, I'm trying to think of a lot of popular ones right now. Okay, we're just going with the stainless steel one. The garbage disposal side is the stainless steel, which you can also change those out too. Um, but the faucet is, it's, it's a light satin nickel. So a satin nickel or a stainless steel basket strainer will work. Okay, this one here, the basket strainer, that's, just, that's right, that's just the piece that goes on the side without the garbage disposal. So we'll have a, uh, a mounting nut on the bottom with a, a washer that connects to the drain. And you're gonna have your big nut to the basket strainer there. Okay. Okay, that's just that thing. Now this right here, this rubber washer and this paper washer. A lot of people I've seen mix this up. They think, okay, this is a rubber washer. There's my seal. I'll take this, I'll put it in the sink just like that. No, 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 no. Okay, that big rubber washer, then this paper washer keeps that nut from, from catching on that rubber washer. That's why the paper washer is there. So that when you're turning this nut, it's not taking that rubber washer and, and binding the crap out of it, okay? This is what goes on top of the sink, and that's it. You're like, well, how does it seal? Okay, well, if it's a stainless steel sink, you can put a little bit of plumber's putty. Um, it's not my favorite thing because it does, oh, over, over time, it does age and dry out and crack and stuff like that. Your 100% your silicone lasts longer, but you do have to wait a day for it to dry before you can use it. We're gonna, put a bead, we're gonna end up putting a bead of silicone underneath the rim here and dropping it in the sink. And that's the only thing that goes above the sink. Okay, I just had to clarify that real quick. Um, to go along with that, all right, here's our big wrench for, for that. That's what catches this big nut. And we also have another wrench. Okay, here's a little T-handle. And this is what goes inside here, and it goes through these little things out like that. And so it holds this still while you're spinning the big nut. Now, if this is like a one-time, kind of do-it-yourself weekend project that you probably will only do one time. They do have different basset strainers. Some of them have um, different mounting methods where you don't need those, those fancy tools. I do, this is the traditional basket strainer method that I'm going to be installing and showing you. Like I said, um, I do a lot of these, so I bought the wrenches. If you're only going to do one, Find one of the other basket strainers that, that mounts with like three screws or something like that and clamp together. That way you don't need these wrenches, okay? Now we're gonna need some kind of drain that connects everything together. So you're gonna have like an end waste kind of thing. Basically, you know, assuming we have a double-sided sink, there are triple section sinks and there are single basin sinks. Okay, I have a pretty standard double sink. This is a 60-40. Okay, so we have a smaller 40% side on the right and the bigger 60% uh, side on the left, okay? This one here, specifically called an end outlet telescoping dispenser kit, okay? So it's made to go in with a garbage disposal, okay? And I'll show you what's inside of it. You do have ones, here's your main piece here, okay? So your garbage disposal is going to be over here, which goes into a pipe, goes in here, and this is where your other side of your sink goes. Now some of them, um, if you don't have a garbage disposal at all, but you do have a dishwasher, will have a little pipe that sticks out of the side right here, and that's where you put your dishwasher pipe in, okay, for your drain. Um, but when you have a disposal, you don't want that piece here, that's going to mess this up, that'd be the wrong one, and that hose goes into the garbage disposal from the dishwasher. Okay, so we have a dishwasher and a garbage disposal, so there's no, there's nothing there. Alright. So we have all these, we have, two, these are called tailpipes, okay? And you can buy these separately, individually, okay, in your plumbing department. Now one is going to come from the sink right attached to the bottom of the basket strainer and come down. So that flange catches in that one of those nuts that I showed you earlier. And this is the other half to this, okay. And you, w there's a slip nut that goes in there, obviously. And that flange right there, if you guys did see my uh, other video, this 
mounting ring there that comes with the garbage disposal. Well, that's going to go in here, and that's what's going to catch on that. So I'll show you that when we get the install part. Of course, we have a couple of slip nuts and slip washers. And okay, that's empty. And then here's the rubber washer that goes on the end of this. And if I caught my other video, I mentioned this is better than the one that comes with the garbage disposal because it actually has a groove on the inside. I'll show you right now and you can put it around instead of the one that comes with the garbage disposal just goes at the end of this and just sits there okay just this one here actually wraps around the pipe see and now it's actually locked on the end of the pipe and then it has this flange which goes into the garbage disposal I like this better this is the Kini brand that Lowe's sells um, that's what all their uh, drain pieces and stuff are, are from the manufacturer so I, I really really like this one um, we're gonna need You'll need, even though this has a couple of uh, slip nuts, you might need an extra one here, depending on your setup. Um, and you might need an extension or something else. And there are two different sizes of this end waste thing. There's a 12 to 18 inch, or a, or a, shoot. This is a smaller one, a 6 to 10 inch, okay? That's talking about the uh, distance between the two sinks, okay? The center point between the two drains, all right? And this is really cutting it because I almost think this might be a hair too long. Um, we'll see here in a second. I might need the other one actually. Um, but we're going to go underneath there and find out. Okay, I've got my, my wrenches here and the bass strainer. So we're going to start off with getting a bead of silicone underneath it, okay? close to the edge. Okay. We're just going to drop that down in the hole. Next we're going to take this combination just like this, rubber washer, paper washer, and the nut. And we're going to stick it underneath and get it started. Okay, now we're going to take our top end wrench, stick it through the holes there, and we're going to take our big nut wrench, and we're going to tighten this down. Okay, you want to make sure that's pretty decent tight there. And we're going to clean up any excess silicone. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling the rest of the drain. Now what we're going to do, if I don't cross all the cameras here, <laughs> alright, that nut and this little nylon washer that came with it, it came off the bottom of the basset strainer. Now we're going to take the shorter of the two tailpipes, okay, we'll take the washer out, drop the tailpipe in the nut, and put the washer back, okay. And now we're going to just stick it up here in place, okay. And now we're going to see if our uh, pipe here is going to fit. 
Okay, it is. It's almost too long. Now, of course, it's, it's, it's too long this way. That has to be cut. So what we're going to do, very simply, this is where it's good to have a little Sharpie on hand. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this end into the garbage disposal here. Okay. And we want this line. And if you have a hard time telling, put yourself a little level on it. We want a small downward slope going away from the garbage disposal so the garbage disposal always drains. Okay. Now, see this notch right here? This little lip, that's as far as the pipe can go before it stops, okay? So we're going to line it up with this side inside the hole for the garbage disposal. A slight downward slope. And then we're going to mark, okay, like so. I know that's not a big mark, but I don't need a big mark. I'll take this back off, okay? You can see my little mark right there. I have my ratcheting PVC cutters, uh, which are barely big enough to handle the inch and a half pipe, but they do. Okay, so we're gonna very carefully. Sometimes I find that it cracks the pipes instead of cuts them. So I like to spin it around. Okay, so now we have our cut end. We have our nylon washer. Okay. Screw that into place. All right, now we need to tighten that into in place. Okay, well, let's double check this first. Actually, stick it in place and line it up to the garage disposal. Okay, we look good. Looking good so far. So now we're going to tighten that up. So we're going to get our slip joint pliers. While using this wrench up top, because we don't want it to spin, we're going to give this a nice little tightening turn. have two of these two nuts and two washers okay and the washers go I'm trying to put this in there so you can see how the bevel goes downward all right so the nut goes on first and then the bevel goes down so the tall part is in the nuts okay and then the skinny sharp point and if you will goes into the next pipe. Okay, but we gotta take this part now too. Okay, so let's take this part. So we need to add two things to this. Number one thing we need to add is the mounting ring that goes into the garbage disposal. So that's right there. And now, because this is a joint going the other direction, we need to add the other slip nut, slip joint nut. So there's a nut and there's the washer with the fat part going into the nut. And we're going to take it way down in there because this one's going to go way together here. Okay. And then we're just going to get the nut there started. Um, we're not going to tighten it up because we still need to be able to adjust that. Okay. So we're going to stick that up in place and we're going to get that nut started like so. Okay. Pretty easy. Okay. Now there's the two the two uh, bolts. The two bolts. Yeah, we got some in there working on the shower faucet. The two bolts that came with the garage disposal. So we're gonna take make sure the garage disposal is lined up. Stretch this out, put it into it, and then we're gonna get these two bolts going in. 
Now they are a, um, a hex head with a straight slot in the middle and we're just going to use a straight screwdriver. You can of course use you know something else if you want to. A little crescent wrench or a little socket. But I'm just going to use a good sized straight screwdriver after I get both of them started by hand and, and turned in there. Okay, straight screwdriver. And just snug them up to make that plate kind of tight. You don't have to crank them in there, but just do them nice and snug, a little taut, however you want to put it. These are not ones that you have to crank. Okay, those are in. Now we're gonna finish tightening up this nut here. Okay. Make that nice and snug. We're gonna give this a little pop upward. Make sure it didn't slip while we're working on it. We wanna make sure those pipes are together tight. And now we're gonna tighten that. Now we're looking at this here and we do have our downward slope. You know, there is a little bit of adjustment in here, there's not a much. But if you need to, you know, tap that down slightly to make sure you have that downward slope, then do so. But make sure you have enough pipe there where it's not just going to slip apart, okay? And, um, wow, they're really working back there in the bathroom. Okay, and now we're ready to connect the P-trap, okay? And, um, well, actually, I'm just going to leave it at that. Alright guys, I don't want you to think that I cheated you, but everyone's P-trap or S-trap is going to be a little bit different. You know, S-traps go into the floor, P-traps go into the wall, but they have a trap, okay? purpose of the trap is not to catch wedding rings, even though they will do that. It's to hold water in there, so the sewer gases don't come on up, up out of your drain, stink up your home. You don't want sewer gases in your home. So that water sitting in here all the time is what does it. That, that's what the whole purpose for the trap, okay? And this one here, alright, where that pipe was coming straight down, then we go into here in the P-trap, and this goes into the wall, okay? This package comes with two slip nuts and washers, okay? But, a lot of times you're short by one, okay? What do you think it's like, well, what do you mean short by one? Well, you got one for up here, and one for here, but for the piece going into the wall, they kind of expect you to have a nut built into that. Um, depending on, on the fitting they used, you know, it might have a nut that came with it and it might not. But the nut going into the fitting, the, the pipe that goes in the wall or into the floor, either way, you don't have that nut with this, this package, just so you know. So if you're trying to do everything new, clean, uh, which is not a bad thing to do, get yourself an extra nut for that. Okay, other than that, guys, thanks for joining me on this video. So please take a moment and uh, subscribe to my channel, click on that right there. And over here I'll have the um, I think I'll also just have some videos including the garbage disposal and faucet install but I'll have a complete list of this project in the description down below because what have we done so far today? I've done a kitchen faucet install, I've done garbage disposal tips, I've done a garbage disposal install, and I've done the drain install. Okay? So other than that, guys, you have a great one.